Hey everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to take you through how to use the Terra Bridge. Now, what is this? This allows you to move assets from the Terra chain to Ethereum or vice versa. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to move UST from Ethereum over to Terra. Now, why would I be doing that? Okay, so a couple of quick examples. And if you want me to go into more detail about these examples I'm about to present, please leave some comments. That way I know there's interest. So I have a bit of Ethereum at the moment. I have locked it up and borrowed some DAI via the DeFi Saver protocol. I've taken that DAI, I've swapped it to UST on Ethereum. And now I want to take that UST and move it across to Terra and deposit it into Anchor to earn that sweet 20% interest. So uh, I know their protocol is being built on Ethereum to just move DAI in, but the interest rate is a little bit lower. It's not as high as I would get on Terra. I plan on keeping this money there for a little bit. So why not? just let it sit on Terra that way when I need to move it on and off I don't have to stress about gas fees in the current environment we're in. So Terra Bridge is by far the simplest bridge I've used so far and let's dive in. First thing you want to do is you want to pick from where to. At the moment it's sending from Terra to Ethereum. Nope that's not what I want to do. I want to send from Ethereum and I'll pick my wallet and there we go and I want it to go to Terra. Now, the first thing when you do that, it you need to put an address. So I will just get that address. Let's paste it over here. Great. And the next thing you also have to make sure is you're picking the right token. So I have a fair bit just for this tutorial, I thought instead of doing one or two dollars, let's put a little bit of money there. And we'll click that. And I wanna make it the max amount. Now, again, I just want to double check. So because I'm sending it from Ethereum on Ethereum, it's wrapped UST, but I noticed the bridge automatically will move it across into UST. And I will hit next. So the asset is UST. That's the destination address. The amount I'm going to receive should be this. I will hit confirm. That'll load up MetaMask, of course. And the gas fees aren't. It's actually quite cheap at the moment. So just quickly check 10 perfect hit confirm now we just give it a minute so and there we go so as soon as it's done it will be it will give you a complete now uh, usually just give it a minute or two before you see the funds arrive in your wallet uh, I did the transfer the other way it was pretty much within a minute I, I assume it will be the same um, over here uh, it may be straight away let's check click on home yep so that transfer is complete and I'm still checking and there you have it so it, it has arrived in the wallet it does take a little bit of time so do not panic it took probably because uh, i skimped out on the gas fees the actual transfer took a good five minutes uh, but i mean that could be a bit quicker however once the transaction was completed it did take around three to four minutes before it showed up in my wallet so definitely don't panic and and a couple of other things that to you can learn from me is you know if you check ethereum scan it gives you a few addresses and then you go on to the other tracker and it shows that it's gotten burnt don't panic this is part of the process on the trackers um how it tracks where the funds are going from what address to address and then um, it, it does appear in your wallet after a while so that's it now just things to be wary of you know make sure you're double checking your addresses before you send and um, now you can see I've done the transfer so I can jump onto anchor deposit that and essentially earn that 20% and the use that interest in monthly lump sums to transfer it back and in the example I gave where I've taken out a loan on my ethereum pay down the debt Obviously, this may get redundant when um, Anchor starts accepting various other assets, but in the interim, this is a great way to capitalize on essentially free money. Make sure, though, you always manage your risks. Again, if you want to hear a bit more about how to do that, please let me know in a comment below and I will make a video around it.
Thanks everyone for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe if you like my content.